rejuvenated Meghan beams lovingly at Harry as they attend an Invictus reception following an afternoon on the water in Cindy Harbour, after the Duchess took the morning off to rest because pregnancy is taking its toll. The Duchess of Sussex was the picture of elegance in a black cross over evening dress as she joined husband Prince Harry for a glamorous private event in Sydney on Sunday night. Pregnant Meghan, 37, appeared full of energy at the Invictus Games Garden reception after taking the morning off to rest. The mother-to-be, who is expecting her first child next spring, chose to skip a scheduled appearance at a cycling race in Sydney, with Harry, 34, telling competitors that she was resting at home, as, being pregnant takes its toll. But hours later the revitalised Duchess reappeared join her husband for a lunch hosted by the Australian Prime Minister at the city's trendy pavilion restaurant. The couple later wrapped up in Invictus Games branded waterproof jackets as they headed out into Cindy Harbour to take in the action at a sailing event. Tonight they kept a low-profile at an event celebrating the Invictus Games Foundation at Government House, which was not part of their official royal tour schedule. Meghan and Harry seemed in high spirits as they took part in the event, sharing wide smiles at each other as they listened to speeches. The Duchess wore her hair in a chic ponytail so all eyes were on the dress, which appeared to feature a fluffy black trim on the crossover straps. Earlier on in the day the couple and their entourage took a rib out to a yacht, a 40-foot Hans 400 model, where they met an American couple who were cheering on their son. Despite the slightly choppy water, the couple stood up to see the race in action, laughing and smiling as they held on to railings for support. Carrie and Bill Novak, from Illinois, had no idea that the Duke and Duchess would be joining them on their boat on Sunday. Their son, 26-year-old Ryan, was a first lieutenant in the U.S. Air Force, before suffering a spinal cord injury in 2016. Mrs. Novak said, they were so lovely. Harry asked what Invictus has meant to our family, about our son's journey and he also asked after his mental health. It was so easy to talk to them. Harry said it was good that he had been brought into the program early on. People can plateau or spiral downwards. We were watching the race and Australia was winning, he said. Sorry about that. Meghan was asking where we were from. She had gone to university in Chicago near us, and said that she loved Chicago. Mr. Novak told the couple that his son had to wear a TLSO dash like a big turtle shell dash as part of his treatment and had written the Invictus poem on the back of it. We showed Harry pictures. We didn't know he would be a part of it back then, he added. The boat was owned by Cam Wayland and his partner Eileen Patterson. Mr. Wayland is part of an organization called RANSA, the Royal Australian Naval Sailing Association, and had volunteered his boat for Invictus family and friends. He was only informed on Monday that they had two VIP guests and was told not to tell anyone. But people did start noticing when teams came and swept the boat with a bomb dog. They even sent divers underneath it, he said. On board, he said the couple weren't really talking to us, and were focused on the Novak family. However, Harry was struck by the vessel, saying, the boat is beautiful. The Duke and Duchess then disembarked the yacht and got back in their rib. The team event was raced in L and keel boats with a mixed gender four person crew in the open category. Each boat was allocated a world sailing accredited instructor to act as a fifth member of crew and provide guidance on safety if required. It is the first year that sailing has taken place at the Invictus Games. Australia came first, Denmark second, Canada fourth, and USA fifth. Before the event, Prince Harry arrived at the Domain Park nearby and waited about 10 minutes for Meghan to arrive in a three-car convoy from Admiralty House, where the couple have been staying. The Duchess waved to a cheering crowd of hundreds who rushed towards her car as she arrived and pressed against barriers as they tried to get her attention. Prince Harry met her at the driveway to the Pavilion restaurant where the couple was due to have lunch with Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison. Also at the reception was leaders from support and mental health groups for veterans, and members of the Australian Air Force Cadets and Australian Kookaburra Kids Foundation. The Duke walked over and immediately gave her a kiss before taking her hand and walking into the restaurant together, using their free hands to wave at the crowd but not stopping to chat. At the reception, where they met Invictus competitors and other guests including Mr. Morrison's daughters Lily and Abby in a crowded restaurant. The Duchess appeared lively and engaged, showcasing her effortlessly chic style, 
the Duchess teamed a black turtle neck jumper and 140 pounds, AUD dollar 199, USD 141 dollars, black jeans with a 510 pounds, AUD dollar 935, USD 550 dollars, pinstriped blazer for the outing, accessorizing with a 160 pounds, AUD dollar 295. USD $210, striped cross body bag and her favorite 490 pounds, USD $750, Aquazura heels. Harry rubbed her back frequently as the couple greeted numerous guests, some of whom the Duke already knew and was delighted to catch up with. One of them was power lifter and Tyra Gawthorne, who pulled up his shirt to show Harry a tattoo on his back after he asked if the former soldier got any new ink since the Toronto Invictus Games last year. I told him it is a traditional Samoan tattoo, he said. Megan chatted to children from the Kookaburra Kids Foundation, who gave the couple two stuffed Kookaburra plush toys as presents for their upcoming baby. Harry asked us which of our parents are in the military so we put our hands up, Lincoln, 8, said as he stood with his brothers Lachlan. 10, and 6-year-old Charlie. I said our mum's in the military. I don't know what she does but she is a major. Studio 10 host and Kookaburra Kids ambassador Jessica Rowe was just as excited to meet the royal couple as the children with families affected by mental health issues the charity supports. They are wonderful. I just said hello your royal highness to Meghan, she said. I said it is such an honor to meet you. You are such a role model for women and she said thank you. The couple of dog lovers couldn't resist Italian sheepdog Angel, who was accompanying her owner Kristen Patton, 65. She got the royal pat, Kristen, who needs Angel to alert her when she suffers a medical episode, said. They both patted her and Harry said he liked it when she crossed her paws as she lay down. Then Angel saw a fly and tried to catch it and Megan said she found that very funny. Harry earlier presented medals to the winners of the Invictus Games road race by himself while Megan remained at Admiralty House. The prince also posed for photos with members of the Australian team and chatted to wheelchair-bound veteran competitors of the Games. He was presented with a pair of green and gold budgie smugglers to sign but politely declined despite their begging, breaking out in hysterics when one of the veterans put the skimpy bathers on his head. But the competitors, Ben Yeomans, Damien Irish, and Kent, were all smiles and had nothing but praise for the Duke after meeting him, even if he turned down their gift. The three Aussie Larricans said they understood it wouldn't have been a good look in front of the clicking shutters of the world's press. He was totally conscious of that. We were hoping that he'd try them on. But oh well next time, Mr. Kent laughed. To be honest he's so down to earth, one of the boys really. Prince Harry may have declined because he's already been gifted a pair, by decorated Paralympian and Triple J presenter Dylan Alcott. The Duke was earlier given the swimmers during a private event at Admiralty House and promptly put them on over his jeans. Dylan Alcott, a host on ABC's daily roundup of the games had a private talk with Harry along with Invictus team members Matt Model and co-captain Nicole Bradley. Mr. Alcott, who is a triple Paralympic gold medalist in wheelchair tennis and wheelchair basketball, said, We gave him a gift. One of the athletes, Matt, gave him a pair of budgie smugglers. And he put them on, over his jeans. It looks awesome. He said, Shall I put them on? We said, 100%. So he put them on. Good on him. Mr. Alcott who was talking at the lunch reception, added, I just met the Duchess, and he, Harry, said I am the one to blame for the photo. I said, hey, sorry, I think, the budgie smugglers, did wonders for him. It looked good. He should make it official. I reckon the Duchess will love them. But who knows, maybe not. I met the Duchess before, at Wimbledon. I'm the number one wheelchair tennis player in the world. I said we actually met at Wimbledon. She said I remember meeting you at Wimbledon. I was pretty happy with that. I felt pretty chuffed that she remembered. Standing apart from the crowd as Harry presented the medals were a small group of serving members of the Australian Defence Force, who have been in Sydney for about a week helping to set up the Games. Sophie Nichols, who is training with the Air Force in her gap year, said the games were a comforting thought that if something went wrong and they became injured, officers could still live full and rich lives. It's amazing to watch how these competitors have gone through hard times physically or mentally and how sport has helped them overcome that, she said. It also shows us that if something does happen, 
there's an avenue and we can overcome it. Australian defence members were able to meet with the wheelchair rugby team this week and compete in a game against them. The Duke and Duchess then boarded a family friend's boat in Farm Cove to watch the Invictus Games sailing final on Sydney Harbour. Harry was forced to present the cycling medals himself after Meghan's busy schedule was slashed to help her rest following her pregnancy announcement last week. When the trip was planned, staff did not know that the Duchess was pregnant so had to reevaluate the program to take account of her condition. The Duke will attend the cycling as scheduled this morning, and the Duchess will join him for this afternoon's engagements, Kensington Palace told Mail Online on Sunday morning. The Duke will continue with the engagements on Fraser Island as planned. The Duke of Sussex encouraged his pregnant wife to slow down after she felt tired when the opening of the Invictus Games overran by nearly two hours, royal sources said. Sources told Mail Online it wasn't that the Duchess was feeling ill, but that they were trying to pace her given how many engagements they have coming up. She is not sick, just tired, one said.